What's up, everyone? Hey, Chef Martin with you from To The Nude Life. Hey, thank you for uh, stopping by. <laughs> this is my uh, my Wednesday, uh, Bear It All Wednesday, Bear It All, wee! Uh, Bear It All Wednesday podcast. Uh, if you want to go listen to the whole podcast, it's on um, To The Nude Life dot libson dot com and it's behind me all right to the nude life dot libson dot com l i b s y n more than welcome go take a listen all right i think it's like 23 minutes long this week's gone by pretty quick uh having a good time having a good time it's already wednesday shit i missed taco tuesday yesterday <laughs> I have my stopwatch. I can only do 10 minutes, all right? At 9 minutes, I'm out, all right? Because this is going on YouTube. YouTube limits me to 10 minutes. Topic of conversation today is a woman's point of view of nudism, okay? So that's what I want to get into. And it's it's based on, um, I talked with several nudist females, and I got their opinion I got how they felt. I tried to write word for word on how their first experience was at a nudist camp. Yeah, I'm checking myself out, you see. Um, <laughs> squirrel, squirrel. Uh, where was I? Oh, not checking myself out. Da, da, da. Yeah, okay. Their first time at a nudist camp. So uh, I took down their notes, and this, that's what I'm going to discuss today. That's it's coming from a woman's point of view on nudism and naturist. Naturist and nudism. Nudism is, bottom line, like being nude. All right, like me. I'm a nudist. Naturist is more with the spirit, the body, and nature all in one. That's what a naturist. I'm better in, uh, in cement buildings. All right. I love nature. Don't get me wrong. Love nature. Love it. I respect it. I respect it, uh, but um, I I did my time. I did my time. I just saw myself in the in the thing. I forgot my little Batman ring. Da da, Batman. All right, so let's get started. Remember, to the nude life dot dot com. All right, a woman's point of view from a naturism. You know when a woman makes the decision that she wants to go to a, or is curious about the nudism lifestyle or to go to a nudist camp it's no longer called nudist colony all right that's outdated that's old school that's done all right that's that's using an old term it's called nudist communities nudist resort nudist campgrounds so when a female is ready to go that's courage that's the first step that's courage to me that's big balls all right what we need to do is we need to support them while they're there and i'm going to go into um how to support them but n don't be over supportive i'll get into that in a little bit for right now society has put a lot of pressure on women from uh, from birth to to now till they're older till they're young women then older they've uh, society has made them like uh, sex objects you know and and that's messed up but that's how it is the cool thing about being a naturist a nudist in a, or nudism is we put more emphasis on on body acceptance what you see is what you get i've got all my flaws i've got scars broken bones i'm fat i'm you whatever all right we go into body acceptance that's what we push all right that's what we push um in talking to these women so they mostly brought up myths that was the first thing that they brought up were myths and a gentleman that I've, i'm getting to know and he's going to do an interview with me one of these days mr uh, matthew mcdermott has got a book out and it's called take your clothes off I read it, it's 58 pages, pretty cool little book, pretty cool little book, it took me back when I first started, and and in it has got myths, certain myths that are involved, uh, one of the myths is that all nudist people are beautiful, I'm sexy, alright, alright, cool, let's get that out the way now, what I let, 
done but you're gonna see all different types you've got you know not all nudists are beautiful <laughs> let me put it like that and I've traveled I've hit up a lot of a lot of nudist places so no that's one myth get it out of here uh, another one is that um what was it that that everyone goes there for sex no one key thing about nudism and going to these nudist camps nudist resorts respect respect is number one now when the lights go off people go in their private zones that you never know nunca sabes you never know but respect you know in some nudist places no sexual contact no physical contact of any kind i've been to other places where hell guys walk around with with erections it, it, you know women walk walk around touching themselves it just depends where you go and that's one thing that we were when i was talking with them that that's one thing that they did do is they researched of where they were going and that helped them out a lot and that's one thing i need to tell to the neatest the new people that want to try it call ahead find out what type it is is it a swingers plus 21 is it a family orientated is it gay lesbian find out find out and then are, give yourself 15 minutes allow yourself 15 minutes when there abide by the rules and regulations of that place that's one thing that that my touring i did not see i saw warnings you know of a of a no glass on near the pool you know no trash outside never did i see not one warning that says about harassment and that was one thing that these women all brought up was the feeling of being harassed that's what they were scared of and some of their faults that goes into the faults uh, they were body shaming themselves that's what i was doing too before i went they were body them shaming themselves into you know one boob is lower than the other there i have stretch marks uh i'm on my menstrual cycle that's why you wear shorts or you wear swimming bottoms or put a tampon in you know um fat thighs uh, an extra belly roll uh, coming up with excuses no reasons just excuses and that's what it is and uh, they said that once they accepted themselves that it was just totally different that they expected uh, you know to see guys running around with hard-ons with directions again depends where you're going got to find out where you're going and uh, they didn't see any of that and that's what they were surprised. What they were surprised was that uh, they felt free. They felt safe. And that's one thing we as old nudists, we need to bring into the fold of safe. If you make someone feel comfortable, make them feel safe, they will enjoy their time. They will enjoy it. That's what we need to strive for is give them a safe environment. If there's one dude that's creepy, like a, the, one of the ladies was saying, places I've been, go talk to management. Management will not play it. They will talk to them or they will get them the fuck out of there. One of the two, or probably both. They don't play that. There is no harassment allowed, but there's no postings of it. That's what I would like to see. And the older gentleman, I hear that some of the ladies would say, yeah, they call me baby, honey. That, that didn't feel right to them and that's something else we as an older generation need to work on you know we're trying to build them up but also watch how we talk to them all right just bottom line give them a safe place give everybody a safe place and everybody have a great time if you want to hear the whole episode go to to the nude life dot libson dot com all right this is my 10 minutes, all right? Go to my podcast. I'll see y'all there. This is Chef Martin. Take care of each other. Adios. <laughs>